who are the anti-circumcision people and for the Christian Messianists and all those who have any interest in trying to debunk the Torah, I give this class. You have written to me that there's uh, theories that there are two different accounts of creation and that this proves that the Torah is a patchwork of different documents. And my first response to you was that the first discussion of creation has God's name written there 32 times. The name Elohim. The name Elohim means the power of law and order. And in order for there to be creation, there has to be specificity. There has to be small, quantified things that are put together to become large bodies of things. And this requires the concept of judgment, which defines things clearly. And that's why it's mentioned there 32 times. The first chapter, which talks about creation, till we come to the chapter that we say the Kiddushan by Yehulu, so you read there, you see that there are 32 times that Elohim is mentioned there. And there's a reason for that, because God created the world with 10 different aspects. These are called the Sfirot. And this is, this goes all the way back, as far back as Jewish tradition is recorded. Basora Dvorim Nivra Ha'ilam. With 10 utterances, God created the world. Basora Mamoris Nivra Ha'ilam. With ten statements, God created the world. These correspond to the ten spheros. In the Hebrew language, there are 22 letters. 22 plus 10 is 32. And therefore, the Kabbalists uh, state, that is why the name Elohim is mentioned exactly 32 times in the process of creation. Because the process of creation was created through two aspects. The ten spherot, the ten statements and the 22 Hebrew letters. Together they make 32, and there's a system by which they are divided, which we won't discuss now. When you, so when you say creation, is this creation of the world or creation of... Creation of the world, creation of the universe together with everything else. Everything actually was created at the very first moment. The whole process of the creation is that after there was creation, there was the development. We know, for example, that um, in physics, the Big Bang took place instantaneously, and in that small instance was created all the laws, all the laws of physics that were later to govern the universe were all created at that first instance. But it took time till everything developed, and this is exactly what the Torah is saying. Bereshis, at that first instant, everything was created, but then God divided everything. So this took the process of six days or six periods and you have in that process the name of Lukim 32 times corresponding to this. The second discussion of creation uses now the name Yudke Vavke which people use as the name J and they theorize this is the this was a different group of people who believed in a different God that was combined somehow or other. But really the name Elohim, according to the Kabbalah, is the name for judgment. The name Yudke Vavke is the name that indicates compassion. That tempers judgment. Because whenever you have Yudke Vavke, that means there is revelation, divine revelation. In that story of creation, the second story of creation, God's name is Hashem Elohim, or the J with the E together is stated 16 times. If you read the second chapter, you'll see it's stated together 16 times. I may be wrong, I counted 16 times. 16 times 2 is 32, exactly as the first set of creation. However, another four names of God are discussed in that chapter. When the snake talks to the woman, he mentions only Elohim. He does not mention 
the J Yud K Vav K, and he mentions Elohim four times. Together, that's 36. The name 36, of course, people know that's Lamed Vav, that's for the 36 righteous men that are found in every generation. But there's something that's even more profound that's very interesting. They discovered in string, th there's a concept called string theory, that there exists these powers that are in a string and that they vibrate. This is the theory. They vibrate. And from those vibrations, you get the various components of existence. And that at the core, it's a single circular string. And it vibrates and creates everything else. And they discovered that the string can vibrate clockwise or counterclockwise. And that clockwise... It, it, it functions in ten, in, in, in ten dimensions. Counterclockwise, it functions in 26 dimensions. The interesting thing about it, together, 10 and 26 is equal to 36, which is a magical Jewish number, the 36 righteous people corresponding to the 36 that is found in the world. And this is the same 32 plus another form. You see it right here in the second chapter. You have the 32 names of God, and the snake adds another four, which together is 36. 